there's a region of our planet that no human being has ever visited. No one has ever seen this place. Yet what happens here affects every one of us, every day of our lives. It's 2,000 miles beneath our feet, the Earth's molten core. Here, a vast ocean of liquid iron generates an invisible force, the Earth's magnetic field. It's what makes our compasses point north, but it does a lot more. It helps to keep the Earth a living planet. Our neighbors, Venus and Mars, have only weak magnetic fields, which means they're unprotected from the deadly radiation sweeping through the solar system. The Earth, on the other hand, exists within a vast magnetic cocoon, a force field that for billions of years has sheltered us on our journey through space. But now, scientists have made a startling discovery. It seems there's a storm brewing deep within the Earth, a storm that is weakening our vital magnetic shield. The Earth's magnetic field has been our protector for millennia, and now it appears it's about to go away. The Earth's magnetic field is getting weaker rapidly. We cannot guarantee that the magnetic field of the Earth is still going to be there a thousand years from today. Is our invisible shield about to disappear? The question is not if that's going to happen, it's when that's going to happen. Could the Earth really lose its magnetic field? And what will happen if it does? Up next on NOVA, Magnetic Storm. Major funding for NOVA is provided by the Park Foundation, dedicated to education and quality television. We see 400 employees in three years. At Microsoft, your potential inspires us to create software that helps you reach it. Your potential, our passion. Science. It's given us the framework to help make wireless communications clear. Sprint is proud to support NOVA. And by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Searing heat. Crushing pressure and a billion trillion tons of molten iron. These are the conditions at the center of the Earth. This is the Sparrows Point blast furnace for Bethlehem Steel Corporation. And this is as close to the environment of the Earth's core as we have here on the surface of the Earth. Buried beneath nearly 2,000 miles of solid rock, the Earth's core is inaccessible to geophysicists like Peter Olson. About halfway to the center of the Earth, we reach the true heart of the Earth, the Earth's core. An immense molten sphere of liquid iron. And that's where the Earth's magnetic field is generated. But recently, scientists have detected a dramatic change in the Earth's magnetic field. The core's ability to generate the field seems to be faltering. Today, the 
something very strange is going on with the Earth's magnetic field. Its strength is rapidly decreasing, so fast that at the current rate, it will last only into the next millennium. It seems the Earth's magnetic field is rapidly fading, a puzzle that is challenging scientists around the globe. It's quite surprising how little is understood about the Earth's magnetic field and how it's generated. It was a very intriguing problem, something that was screaming out for an answer. I often wished I could see the magnetic field. I'm motivated by the mysteries that are there. As scientists grapple with the complexities of the magnetic field, they realize that what is happening at the center of the Earth could change our world for generations to come. Magnetism is something we're all familiar with. Oh, look. At the end of the magnets, the paper clips stick to it. I can connect it. Oh, no. Its seemingly magical ability to attract and repel delights and baffles. When the magnets are turned over one way, they don't want to go together. And when you flip them over, they want to come together and they stay together. But this mysterious force is not just a curiosity. Look at the TV. Magnetism, a close relative of electricity, lies at the heart of most modern technology. Everything from power stations to the television you're watching now. And in fact, the Earth itself is a gigantic magnet. While we are constantly aware of the pull of gravity, most of the time, we are oblivious to the other force the Earth generates, the magnetic field. But space scientists like Andrew Coates know how important it really is. The magnetic field extent is really huge. It's the biggest thing, really, we have on Earth. The magnetic field is created deep in the Earth's core. It streams out near the South Pole, loops around the planet, and then runs back into the core near the North Magnetic Pole. This is the Earth's protective force field. Without it, we'd be in trouble. It protects us against radiation from space. It's a little bit like being in the pod here. This shields us from the weather on Earth. The magnetic field of the Earth shields us from space weather and space radiation. Space weather is nasty. The winds that blow through the galaxy are winds of radiation. Some of the most harmful from distant exploding stars. But there is another source which is much nearer, which is our sun. The sun itself is a thermonuclear furnace, and this flings off huge amounts of dangerous material in very large explosions. In some cases, it's about the same mass as Mount Everest actually coming towards us. Every few hours, the sun ejects billions of tons of electrically charged particles, the solar wind. Often, the Earth lies directly in the path of this onslaught. But magnetism deflects charged particles. This means that the solar wind is unable to penetrate the Earth's magnetic shield, the Earth's magnetic shield, and so flows harmlessly around the planet. The only visible signs of this drama far above our heads are the northern and southern lights, produced when solar particles trapped in the Earth's magnetic field are dragged through the atmosphere toward the poles. Now, we're lucky on the Earth, we have the magnetic field which deflects the particles and protects us. But if we lost the magnetic field, there would be nothing to stop the radiation bathing the whole of the atmosphere, and the effect would be much more dangerous.